The disciplinary committee is hereby adjourned. Your punishment will be decided later. Until then, you will be confined to your room. I understand. Well, how did it go? I wasn't expecting a fun time, but I didn't know it would be so bad. Well, obviously, you still don't realize the gravity of what you did. Uh... Avan, you are the worst student I can imagine. Listen up now. Do you have no idea why this school, this army, has rules? By observing that protocol, we keep casualties to a minimum. Yes, sir. Really? By some undeserved miracle, you brought everyone home alive this time. You nearly killed your own class. You drove Lanceel's good name into the mud. I... I know. Hmm. Your punishment has yet to be decided. I suggest you prepare for the worst. Alright, in with you. Use these five days to think about what you've done. Yes, sir. Never thought a cadet would break the iron rule and just get a week solitary. You are Professor Brixham and those classmates of yours big time. Wait, what? Your teacher went around extolling your success in Yule after the committee. And all of Class G flooded the faculty office to beg for clemency. Are you serious? Without them, you'd be halfway home now, now. make no mistake. It's another miracle they let the class off with just a stern warning. A lot of people bent the rules for you. Don't make them regret it, eh? I'll be back for you in five days' time. Brixie. Everybody. I'm sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. To begin, here is today's news. The Vision Cup final is this month. New mission has been assigned. New versus mission has been assigned. Events and daily life added to in book to the yearbook. I have a new award to pass on to all of you. We have the Honorable Service Medal. Greetings and salutations, everyone. I'm Mega Mac. This is Let's Play Valkyria Chronicles 2. We're not done. We've got to get Havan out of solitary. <sighs> Today's day five. I can finally get out of here tomorrow. Somebody's at the cell door. Sounds like the guard, maybe? Dang, he's impatient about something. Hey! Avan, are you in there? Oh no, don't tell me you broke out! No, you goof. I'm next door. Oops. I must have guessed wrong then. They said you were in the cell with the red lock, so I just picked randomly. Still having trouble with the colour then? Next time, try asking if I'm in there before you bash in the door. Wait, what are you even doing down here? <laughs> I know you're in solitary, but I asked the professor and snuck down. You snuck down here? What was I supposed to do? I was worried about you. I couldn't get permission for a real visit. He said we could talk a bit. Wow. I would have to say I'm pretty grateful. It's been crazy boring in here. Thanks, Kazette. Don't thank me. I'm the one who got you into this mess. What mess? I'm here because of my own decisions. Well, even so, thank you, Avan. So, everybody in class is doing okay? We all agree it's weird there without you. It's too quiet. It's sad and distracting. Oh, but Zeri says it's a nice break and that he can finally get work done. 
Why am I not surprised? He's just saying that. You can tell he misses you too. I know I do. So talk to me. Tell me something about yourself. What were you like as a little boy? What was I like? <laughs> I don't know. What's to say? I was your normal brat. Now if you want stories I can tell you about this time when Leon... I don't. What I want is to know more about that bratty kid. Really? Really, really. Well, alright. Let's see. This one time... Avan, you don't deserve it. He does not. I hate that retaking Yule scene. It's supposed to be Kazette's big moment, where up until now she's been the generic nice girl in a partner of in a team of three. But then you get to that scene and it reveals that she has blood trauma, and we need to tackle the drill grounds to go over this because, oh boy. Before we had Klutz, which is just a negative, it's just a penalty to her accuracy. It's not nice, but it's not awful. Blood trauma. They freeze up when they see blood, rendering them unable to move. Allow me to translate. Whenever she takes damage from interception fire, she has a chance of losing all of her AP. It is like... It is pretty much tied for Vicky for being one of the worst potential... Not Vicky, Megari. Because stage fright kicks in when it might kick in whenever she sees a new enemy. Blood trauma is probably worse off because there can be a lot of interception fire, whereas uh, vision with enemies sort of flicks on and off a bit less regularly. There is a way around it though. If you give her the the reason why I said we want to have her as much of Melodus geared up as possible is because her hidden potential in Melodist is invincible. And if invincible kicks in, then it's almost impossible for blood trauma to take effect. If she takes interception fire damage right at the start of the turn before invincible can properly activate, there's a chance that blood trauma will kick in anyway, but those are pretty specific circumstances. Point is, Kazette just got shot in the leg with a bad potential. And it's all Ivan's fault. It was her big moment to reveal, hey, she's actually got some serious baggage to her. But then Ivan makes it about himself by shooting himself. It is so frustrating. Because it doesn't help. She's having a really bad time with all the injured civilians triggering her old memories and making her freeze up. Havan shooting himself isn't going to make her less stressed, it's going to stress her out even more. You aren't helping anyone by like that, Havan. And then they go ahead and say, oh well, we should have had a lot worse punishment for the stunt you pulled, but everyone stuck their neck out for you, so nah. Just five days of isolation. And I feel like it would have meant a lot more if that actually carried. If Ivan became unavailable for, say, seven missions or four missions or whatever. But nope. It's so frustrating. Anyway, we've got class notes now. Alright maggots, listen up. Yule. Yule is filled with trenches and contaminated pools due to the fierce battles fought there previously. Trenches are handy for hiding from enemies and taking cover from area-wide mortars. Advancing troops should make use of them. Contaminated pools are toxic. Soldiers stepping in them will lose HP steadily and take more damage than usual. Heavy vehicles also sink into the pools, making movement cost more AP. If your vehicle fitted with off-road equipment, you can proceed across these patches with the normal amount of AP. During the daytime, Lightning effect also occurs across the damaged lightning rods dotted across the city. Units close by when this happens will take a large amount of damage. Try to stay away from them whenever possible. Ironically, I've actually seen these lightning strikes kill enemy units for us. So in a way, disabling it isn't necessary. 
but it might you might just not want to take the risk. Lightning won't occur at night. The rebel searchlights will be active. If allied unit is caught in a searchlight, howitzers will be fired at their position. Watch searchlight movements, try not to get caught by them. If you're spotted, move away or take cover in a trench. Got it! If I see any scrubs, it'll be a hundred laps. But yeah, I just... What Avan did there seriously turned me off of the Shonen Hothead archetype. And what really bites? He's a fairly decent character otherwise. So let's go check out the store and then lot. How come? What? No more butter candies like ever? What's up? What's wrong, Renee? Hey there. It's this darn war. Staples like butter and sugar are in short supply. You stopped making the butter candies she used to come in for. That's a downer. They were really good. <laughs> I pine for their creamy sweetness. Pining away for a little sweetness, eh? What? He said that. <laughs> Sounds like a job for my latest power ballad. You ready to rock? My silky sweet voice will have your heart running over, baby. Ready to go, Renee? Yep. Hey, wait! Listen! <sighs> if salt ever runs low, we'll just need to farm that kid's tears. Avan isn't a bad character though. He doesn't have the same sort of prejudices that we have with everyone else. And when he messes up with the girls, which happens a lot, Thanks to us completing Alexis and Renee's events, we know that for a fact. He does try to at least be polite to them, but that one moment with Cosette. Anyway, that aside, yeah, Cosette's moments with, um... Cosette's uh, blood trauma. Uh, replaying the game reminds me that it is actually foreshadowed. I feel like uh, I want to watch the character events and talk about this later, hey, but at the same time. How goes it today? Uh, no, we didn't want the store. I was considering going to Avan's room. Uh, let's just hit lot and I'll talk about it after. Roger. Here we are, site of the fifth Lancial Wonder, the Gym of Horrors. So, what's the deal with this ghost thing? Rumor has it the ghost appears after classes when everyone's gone. Report after report has come in of a floating figure in an empty gym. Hmm. Aren't ghosts supposed to come out at night? It's four o'clock. Do you really expect to see anything now? Come on! Dude, are you crazy? Ghosts and stuffed peppers are my biggest nemeses! If I came here at night, I'd be too busy freaking out to report, dude! <sighs> That's totally why you brought me along, isn't it? Look, let's just go in. Quietly now! Quiet! What the heck? What? Floating! There's really something floating over there? Hey, quit shoving! Listen up! I had a feeling it was you. There was just something about the shape of that blackened sprite. What? Yeah! Wait a second, that sounds like... Ugh. What gives? Thought you could have it all cleared out. Sir, what's the drill sergeant doing in the gym? What, are you blind? I'm training. Wait, what? Alone in here? <laughs> this gym's got equipment we don't have out on the drill grounds. I train here alone after you maggots clear up because I like it quiet. Huh? We saw someone... Sir, can you levitate? How? That's a joke. I was just working my upper body by climbing rope. Oh, man! Oh, nuts. Ugh. 
What a letdown. He's scary enough, but that's not really news. Hmm. So that's five of seven down with no hits, huh? You really think the last two stand any chance? Sure they do. The next one's sure to be real. It's just gonna take a bit of prep before the investigation is all. We'll tackle that one another day, dude. Roger. Meanwhile, I've got film to develop back at the dorm. Later, Chief! I think I get why Zeri says all her stories are gossip. Actually, back to Ivan. I think the worst thing is that we have that scene immediately after of Kazette coming down to talk with Ivan. It's like it's rewarding his bad behavior where he gives her blood trauma, breaks all the rules, and he gets a romantic love interest out of it. F you, Ivan. So the foreshadowing I was talking about. I don't know whether I'd be able to find the specific Ivan's room events on a short notice. But, they're both main story ones. When Ivan's teaching uh, Alizé to, how to uh, play soccer and she caves in her face with a soccer ball, Kazette picks up the soccer ball, she carries it over and then says, wait, is there something on the ball? She pulled a Godot. She didn't recognize the red on the soccer ball. And it wasn't until he told her, uh, yeah, my blood's on that, that she freaked out. The other event is when he goes to visit her room, and it's just a mishmash of terrible colours. Uh, there's the other hint that her uh, colour blindness. She just can't tell these things. Anyway, um, we have Anise and we have Naim. I know that recently I got told off screen that hey, Yo. we've you got improvements. What's up? <laughs> we now have develop weapon development tier Yo. 7. Cross area artillery. Some enemy tanks are able to fire shells into other areas. Dealing with one sided attacks from unseen enemies is tricky, but you're also able to use cross area artillery. These tasks can be developed at the R&D building. Once you develop these, you can use tactics such as shelling the enemy before swarming in with your infantry. To initiate this, move with the vehicle, press triangle, select barrage, then select an enemy unit to target. However, it doesn't begin right away. It'll be fired at the end of the next enemy phase. It costs 4 CP, so you can, and you can only fire one barrage each phase. Choose your targets carefully. That's all I got. See ya, kid. This is actually kind of garbage, not gonna lie. It's a pretty garbage uh, turret because uh, let's have a look at what turrets we can build at the moment. The artillery turret. So it has a, it has one mortar and one artillery shell. One shot each. So. We have a, it has a turret that can't use interception fire. So the tank is only good for bombing places. It's no longer any good against the enemy tanks. It's not going to be able to hold back infantry. You're relying on hitting people with one explosive charge. So that's a problem. The other problem is that the enemy AI knows about the artillery that you're aiming at them and will then go do everything they can to stay out of that area. So you're never going to hit anyone with it. That means it is 98% garbage, or rather, it's garbage for 98% of the time. The exception is that when you target enemy for these interception fire, you know that they're going to try and move out of it. So if you have a gunner in the area with their eyes in the right place and enough of a damage buff, you can actually clear out a lot of people trying to get away. I don't think it's worth the price tag, though. Uh, let's just hit the Anise map, because we're down to 10 minutes. The spin and Vogue! Yeah, that was perfect. Ready to take that routine on the road, man? <laughs> I did it! Oh, Avan, darling, I finally did it! 
I see a breakneck montage of these weeks of training whenever I close my eyes. I mean, technically it probably has been weeks. I forget the last time we saw her second event. I'm never going to forget what it was about. The uh, mental image of her bench pressing a tank is pretty great, but this is no time to dwell on the sacrifice. Today, after school, my sister will be arriving. Yo. All right, next time is prep for the big concert. I've got to go spread the word. Huh? And is a live? Of course. Yes, darlings, I'll be giving one big concert today on out on the drill grounds. Yo. We're going around telling folks now. You guys should come. It'll be fun. <laughs> I have something really, really important to take care of today. I feel like I'm coming down with a bad case of Black Death. <laughs> I'll see both of you there today, right, darlings? I can just imagine her pinching their ears like uh, Brock in the anime. <sighs> yes, ma'am. Hey! Hey, who's the guy going around saying he's using the drill grounds today? Yo! Oh, that'd be us. We have the place reserved for actual drilling. What? Honestly, it's gauche to use this historic academy as a place to play idle. It's stunts like this that explain why nobody has respect for any of your class. <laughs> anyway, if you must hold your little concert, do it someplace else. Ah, oh, that's rough. I guess we could do it at play idle. Ah, uh, is a... Absolutely unforgivable! Slandering the idol's path is slandering my sister! A duel will settle this, darling. They'll learn just how serious I am. Uh, ooh, yeah, that's uh, one thing that I need to do desperately before we finish, before we tackle that action, I mean. Uh, we aren't doing good job with picking up his potentials in these classes, but whatever. Havan, you're a scout veteran. You're the only one in the class. You're probably going to get a lot of use now. If memory serves, then this this one is going to be just Havan and Anize. Taking the stage. Yeah, Avan and Enese only, we have to capture the enemy base camp. Your mission is to drive off a rival class who are in the middle of an exercise, capture the enemy base camp in Area 3 to secure the concert area. For this uh, battle, only Avan and Enese will be deployed. We have enemy scouts, snipers, and shock troopers. Oh wait, we're starting at the top right corner. Ooh, that's going to be a bit rough. Time to make it clear that being a star isn't all fun and games. <sighs> Moving out. I see one. I see one! Coming at ya! Enemy down! The thing is, Avan actually has some of the most health out of all the units you can deploy, so he's pretty tanky. It's the only explanation I have for how he wasn't able to die to um, Audrey's attack last episode. Because she gunned him at point blank range, and some of those bullets actually dealt a lot of damage. Moving out! Yeah! 
I feel great. So there's a landmine there. I see one. A crisis is a turning point, right, bro? Enemy spotted. Now, if memory serves, yes, you are promoted, so you can just grenade him. That sniper is going to take a shot at her, but... Well, he missed. That certainly helped. Now they're going to start spamming troops against us. I mean, let's think about it like this. With the amount of punishment we're going to put them through, it's going to be better training than anything that they could have done with the drill grounds. So I think it's fair enough that we're putting her through, we're putting them through this for NSA's hobby. Oh, penetration on a grenade? That should have been a lot more painful than it was because of that lucky evade. Moving out! Enemy down! I'll show you real shock. So there. Mmm. I shouldn't have rounded that final corner, should I? Yeah, that's stung. Even with our armor and level differences, the, the sniper is still meant to kill infantry. Thankfully these ones aren't smart enough to aim for headshots. Now here's the thing, if one of those is a shock trooper then we're in trouble. Oof. This isn't the end. Moving out. Yeah, I feel great. Enemy down. I see a crisis is a turning point, right, bro? Medic, quick, over here, hurry. Okay, let's go! Yeah, I feel great! Alright! 
We could push for the end right now. I'd rather not. I'd rather just have um, Havan camp out here for a little bit. Because if he can't kill that shop trooper, then we might very well game over because one of the requirements is that you don't lose all your ground infantry. From max range on an armor difference, we're fine there. They are going to deploy a sniper though. She's okay. getting treatment Let's now. Go. Yeah, I feel great. Enemy down. I see one. Enemy spotted. Moving out. I'm not sure I like the fact that they Come get sniper reinforcements. Camp. And we could have done it a lot faster if we hadn't lost Kazette with Anise. Anise. And she still got the better score even though she went down. Go figure. There! See that? The day is mine! And the stage with it! You've toughened up a bit, Anaset, and I don't just mean muscle. I can see just how serious you are about becoming a star now. Sister Edie? Sister? Well, you don't look like a nun, so I'm assuming you're related? Oh, goodness, to think there are still people who don't know me. Well, I'm in an extra good mood today, dear, so I'll tell you. They say it was Squad 7 of the Militia that won the war and saved Gallia. And they say it was one star slash heroine that held that squad together. I am that star, Edie Nelson. Star slash heroine? What, you're serious? As a bullet to the head, darling. And speaking of, mind your tone or else. Anaset, dear, don't keep me waiting! Let's see this big concert! Gladly! Here we go, Yvonne! What? Why me? Stay focused now, Yvonne. Your footwork is off. Oops. Sorry. Man, you've gotten good at this. Well, of course! Now for the spin. In vogue! Uh, Vogue! That was lovely, darling. I'm impressed. I would feel guilty if I didn't repay you in kind. Oh, how about a song? Oh, please don't. Oh, would you? Oh, please! Only for you, Anaset. How could I say no? Now then, here we go! You stood always smiling, never quiet, ever tender. Oh, this grinding, screeching. Is this. How is this singing? Oh, sister, as always, your voice is revolutionary. I hope someday soon we'll have the chance to take to the stage together! 
I look forward to it. Do take care, Edie. She... she's finally gone. Ah, uh, my ears are still ringing. I swear, Edie, one day I'll perform the way you do. Don't! What... whatever is the matter, Avon? Everything! Look, I won't tell you not to look up to her. But that voice, whatever you do, don't take after her singing voice. Hmm. So yeah, there's the reason why an A rank in the ED DLC will have uh, Rosie perform instead of her. Because it would be quite the punishment to the player, wouldn't it? The diligent potential was awakened in Anisette. Havan became closer with her. Either way, until next time guys, hopefully I'll have better things to talk about than that complete train wreck of a uh, main story event. <sighs> and I'm sure that uh, even as time goes on I'll think of more things to complain about it. Because that's just how I am. Till next time guys, take care, I'll see you all around.